Welcome to installing the Houdini engine for Unity, brought to you by GameTutor.tv. So throughout this course, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at getting the Houdini engine up and running inside of Unity here. So we have to go and learn how we can get all the files and how we actually install the Houdini engine plugin for Unity. Okay. Um, now you might not be familiar with the Houdini engine or what it can do for you, but basically um, this allows you to bring in all the power of your smart assets that you build inside of Houdini and actually retain all the proceduralism that you've built into them in the engine itself. So for instance, I have this, uh, basically the spine ramp here that I've created inside of Houdini and I can actually update the parameters or the model inside of Unity here so that I can start to adjust the objects um, as I need them for gameplay in my game. So I, I keep a really procedural workflow. All right. So this allows me to change things like um, the uh, UVs. Uh, I can do the ramp separation. I can do the ramp angle. And you'll also notice that our collision mesh is being generated on the fly as we make these changes. All right. So we get our UVs being created. We get our collision mesh being created all of our geometries being created, and so on and so forth. So this allows us to actually make edits to our models in engine rather than having to flip back to Maya or Max to um, make small changes to your models, especially when you're starting to prototype your levels and you're blocking them out. It's a good idea to be able to have the power to do custom tweaks like just adding a little bit more height or changing where a fence starts or ends um, without having to flip all the way back to Maya or Max to make those changes, all right? And so that's really the power that we get <clears throat> with the Houdini engine. It allows us to generate these very dynamic objects for our scene, and we can update all their values as we see fit. All right, so it's just another arsenal in your tool set, okay, that allows you to um, work more quickly when you're trying to make changes for gameplay and game design. All right, so that's what we're going to cover throughout this course. Um, we have a lot to uh, to go over, so let's get started. <laughs>